G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Walcott. Super Rugby Round 8, Highlanders versus Moana Pacifica. This game, Highlanders once again on the mission to win their first match of the season, despite Moana Pacifica having fewer games played, already winning their first match over the Hurricanes. Highlanders wants to come out, make amendment to their, to their stats, after losing a really close one last week against the Crusaders in a match where uh, the Crusaders did not look like the Crusaders, especially in the second half, where both teams were not able to score. And no one scored in the second half and Crusaders walked away with a three-point win. Highlanders, I felt like they let them off the hook. That was their opportunity. That was the chance for the Highlanders to snatch the win uh, over the Crusaders. But... This week, they came out in front of the home crowd. Moana Pacifica happens to be the end, receiving end of it. Highlanders gets a, a, I would say, was it a, com yeah, I would say a fairly comfortable win over the Moana Pacifica. I don't want to be too negative about this game, but let's just talk some stats. Let's talk about what happened. So basically, the Highlanders, so the Moana, let's just talk some positive stuff, right? The Moana Pacifica had, I thought was pretty good defense overall against Highlanders. They were under the pump at Highlanders for the majority of the game. And with the few opportunities they did have, they looked exceptionally well, the Mono Pacifica. They did make a lot of small mistakes uh, when it comes to their own opportunities. But the one thing that really hurt them, like severely hamstring them for the entire game, was their penalty. They gave away just penalties everywhere. They were yellow card for multiple repeated penalties. Uh, it was just really, 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 really something that, yeah, I thought was, uh, yeah, I, I thought was really, really poor. So if, if it wasn't for the penalties, Moana Pacifica would have been, this would be a much, much closer game. The, the moments that they had, they really look threatening. Uh, Moana Pacifica is one of the teams that definitely has the talent, has the coaching staff, has the players, um, yeah, has the has the the, the 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 what do you call it? The the skill level to make into the top eight, to make into the uh, into the uh, what do you call it? To make into the um, into the semi into the knockout stages, right? Into the uh, what do they call it? The elimination rounds. So it's it's just that the penalty count is they just cannot do that with the penalty counts they have. That is, they're just letting themselves down with those penalties and really just giving Highlanders a lot of easy opportunities to, to capitalize on these penalties. And um, yeah, so Highlanders eventually were able to score six tries. They did look a lot smoother this game than they did last week against, uh, yeah, last week against the Crusaders. They were, um, the, the, the team looked much more, I guess, I would say um, the, the team looks like they're clicking together a lot better now than they did earlier in the season. Six tries to uh, to two. They the four pack look good. We had a bit of pretty good structure with the uh, f with the rolling moors. The scrum looked pretty good, and then the back line look attack looked pretty smooth as well. The the um, the Highlanders number nine is probably the, the both nice. Aaron Smith was pretty good in the first half, and the reserve number nine came out. I keep forgetting his name. Uh, or just did an exceptional job as a replacement as well. Yeah, uh, Fakatava coming off the bench, uh, scoring a try, and just really kick that tempo in the next level. You know, to, to come off the bench for Aaron Smith and still able to kick that tempo up is really, really, really impressive. Uh, Mitchell Hum, for probably one of the big blemishes for the Highlanders, missed a lot of his conversions this game. So there was only two conversions that was done out of six. And um, yeah, and he hit the goalpost twice. So yeah, if he had, if he could get double points in the goalpost, he would be getting double points. Uh, you know, the points would be a lot higher, right? So for some reason, he was able to hit goalpost twice and not have to pick the, <laughs> not have to actually kick more than two goals. So out of six. So yeah, this was uh, an off day for the Michel Han, I thought. Not the best performance overall. By the Highlanders in the end, their four pack really built a really good more, uh, some really good breakdown pressure as well, forcing those penalties. And uh, yeah, just Moana Pacifica. Uh, what can I say? Christian Leafalo looked really good on number 10. 
those, some of those passes was pinpoint accurate, really good decision making, and his kicking game was really good, his goal kicking was really good as well, but it's just that he's not able to have that consistency due to the penalties. He's constantly like, they're constantly ruining their own opportunities again and again and again and again, and not giving the ball to Christian Liniofano enough for the game. I do feel like, yeah, this was... Yeah, this was a game that Mono Pacifica definitely will have a good look at that. And um, if they can fix that up, I, I, I think Mono Pacifica is a top 8 team, to be honest, to, to be able to make it into the, the, the knockout stages. So anyway, the meet is done for the Highlanders 346 to the Mono Pacifica 334. Uh, turnovers conceded 11 to Highlanders, 13 to the Mono Pacifica. Tackles 142, 25 missed tackles like Mono Pacifica. 107 tackles, 22 missed tackles. So overall defense is pretty good for both teams. And uh, yeah, the kicks in play, Haldness did manage this kicking game a little bit better. 20 kicks in play out of Modern Pacifica, 16 conversions. So, so we talked about Misha Hunt having a bit of an off day. And uh, lineouts, look at that, 19 lineouts for the Highlanders. I think they were at like 16 or eight, something like that, like 16 or 15 lineouts, maybe even more than that at half time. So Highlanders was absolutely uh, dominating the 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 uh, the what do you call it the Mono Pacifica uh, overall like just with territory and just yeah really able to pin the Mono Pacifica uh, yeah forcing them to kick those boy out and uh, yeah it was just I, I actually couldn't believe this stat now like half time it was already outrageously high second half was like like actually tempered down a little bit to a more normal kind of numbers two line and loss for Mono Pacifica out of the four. Uh, scrum one loss for Pacifica uh, out of four, um, out of four, and then penalty. This is uh, this is it. This is uh, the big, big, big red flashing light in the changing rooms, in the coaching rooms. Sixteen penalties, uh, and apparently the stat is fourteen average. Mono Pacifica is giving away fourteen penalty on average per game. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Like. This, your average should not be above 10. Like, that's ridiculous. Even, like, at 10, it's... Yeah, like, oh, my God. That is so high. So, 16, this uh, this game, two yellow cards, both due to repeated penalties. And, uh, yeah, just breakdown penalties. Um, a lot of those are breakdown penalties, to be quite frankly. And, um, yeah, I just... Um, yeah, uh, yeah, breakdown penalties, offside, just silly stuff like that. There's nothing, like... It's not even like, you know, crazy, like professional foul, like deliberate, deliberate knock on or anything like that. Just, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I do think that I don't really know what else to say about this game. Um, you know, six tries to two, the two tries, Modern Pacific are able to score, look good. And then just, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to just keep hammering down, you know, keep beating the dead horse, I guess. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this game. Uh, congratulations to the Highlanders finally getting their first win this season. It's gonna be look like the 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 I guess the uh, the wild card rounds is that what they call it? The the Trans Tasman rounds when they play against Australian teams. It's gonna be really the the the, the, the most important part for these two teams to make it into the quarterfinals, to make it into the eliminate not quarterfinals, the elimination rounds. They need to make top eight. And both of them are currently just outside the reach, I believe. So, yeah, it's really going to come down to their performance against those Australian teams to try to get themselves into that elimination, uh, into the, you know, what do they call it? Elimination? Into those elimination rounds. So, yeah, Mono Pacifica, I definitely thought, like, like I'm just so, yeah, I thought there was so much talent, so much good attacking structure. Uh, Lely and Fano's, show a lot of promise for the team and then just not able to yeah just if they if they can tidy that penalty count even just to reduce it like down below 10 they, this would be a hugely different result here this will be much closer game probably would have could have been a game that um would have probably upset uh you know if, if they can get the, the penalty count below 10 they would upset quite a few australian teams for sure and they would be able to get themselves uh, a good chance to get himself into the top eight. So, yeah, a lot of work for the coaches to look at. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate you watching these videos. And, uh, yeah, thanks for checking in, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the triple header. Cheers.